everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the smallest Class C motorhomes on the planet. What I love about this motorhome is that it's this much wider than a Class B, but you get double the space on the inside. This is the 2024 Thor Chateau Model 22E. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Chateau and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you this awesome Thor Chateau 22E on the special Chevrolet chassis. Before I begin, Gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. Thank you so much, you guys. Everybody that stopped by to see us at the meet and greet. Yes. It yes. was a pleasure meeting all of you, and we both thank you so much for coming there to see us. Andrea, it was a great time. We always love when we get to meet people who watch the show, and it really does mean the world to us. So without further ado, Andrea, let's begin. Model is Chateau 22E. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 7 inches. This motorhome sits on the Chevrolet chassis. It's the 4500 Chevrolet. It has a 6.0 liter V6, 401 horsepower. Andrea, this is awesome. Now, you'll only see these Chevrolet chassis on the lighter weight motorhomes. Um, and it's an alternative from the E350 chassis. That's what it's mo most similar to. And then when you get to the bigger ones, you go to the E450. I like how it's Chevy just because it's a little different. Right in front here, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab. Okay. Coming on down. Look at these tires. Right? They're the general grabber tires. I love those. 225-75 R16 with shiny rims right there. Right here, we do have two mirrors on both sides with cameras wow. integrated in both sides of the mirrors. Absolutely, Andrea. Coming on down, you do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Andre, that goes the whole length of the motorhome. Fantastic, white fiberglass. It looks great with your blue decals. And then here we do have a TV on the outside and a nice grab handle to enter the motorhome. Right here is our propane tanks. And then Miss Jennifer, if you could, bing, please put all the specs so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Andrea, you heard me tell people that it's this much wider than a B van, but you get double the amount of space on the inside. You also get quadruple the amount of space on the outside. Wow. Look at this phenomenal storage. This is impressive. This is insane, Andrea. I absolutely love what they do here. I love this. Look at that B van right there. Right. There's no storage on the outside. So to get this type of exterior storage, is fantastic and i love it and i love what they're doing here and it's just super duper awesome coming around the back we do have a nice bumper for the stinky slinky eight thousand pound hitch doesn't mean you can tow eight thousand pounds i know you're good for at least five thousand pounds any more than that you must know before you tow backup camera integrated in that rear tail light and there is a ladder to get up on the one piece tpo roof let's go up there and take a look hold on here we go up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Single AC unit, it is 30 amp. Right there we have not one, but two Max Air fan covers, King Air digital antenna, and a solar panel right there on the roof. Okay, last up. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure everybody smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman takes his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what feature the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea. Right here's your black tank flush city water connection. 30 amp service, unleaded fuel. Right there, that's where you're dumping your tanks. Hooking up your cable here. You have an outdoor shower. And then right here is your water heater. That looks good. I wish they continued the decals on right. the outdoor shower. And then right here is your Equiflex Four generator. Thousand. Yes, ma'am. And then the wrap up the outside. Potable. Potable water fell. Potable, potable. Potable, potable. Yes, ma'am. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. No skip? 
Little skip. That's a hobble. Whoa. That's not a hobble, skip. Hobble, baby. Hobble wobble. Oh, okay. I forgot. Oh, yeah. This doesn't have any slides in it. All right. This is, it's like this all the time, which is great. And I think our uh, cargo ca carrying capacity is going to be on one of the doors over here. So this is it. I mean, look at this. This is great. It's a great walkway. Um, there's a step up. Definitely open the fridge. There's the corner bed. And here is the bathroom. And I like it. No slides in here. 2,520 pounds. Pretty good for the Chevy. And Andrea, before we get started, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. This video is sponsored by 3-in-1 and their collection of easy to use products perfect for maintaining your RV. Today, we are taking a look at the 3-in-1 slide out silicone lube. This lubricates and waterproofs. It's anti-corrosion and extends the slide out's life. All you do is shake it up, aim this, spray it on and then it, you no need to wipe it off it will automatically dry so you just take it right here just like that thank you so much to three and one for sponsoring today's video make sure you get everything you need to maintain your rv by clicking our link down below let's continue the video yeah. and we're back just like that you ready andrea i'm ready all right we are gonna get started right up here in this cockpit area. Andrea, it's Chevy. It's different. It is. You know what I'm saying? I like different. I like different too. Um, I, The Ford, in my opinion, is gonna be better. Um, but you, what's better than better is variety. You know what I'm saying? Yes. This is still very nice. I got my power mirrors right here, power windows, light control. I got a cup holder right here, which is nice. Right over here, we got a little bit of that. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? It's comfortable. Yeah, I got plenty of leg space right here, which is nice. Um, cup holders. Yes. Yeah, it just seems like overall it'd be a really nice drive. Yes, definitely. And you have nothing behind you, Andrea. No, I could have went yeah. all the way back. So you could have gone back, way, way back. Nice? Right here we do have um, like sunscreens right there, a nice mirror. And what's crazy is, Andrea, I can actually see what's going on behind my back window there in case there's like a big old 18-wheeler behind me trying to push me off the road. Very nice. Above, we have a nice bunk over the cab that holds 800 pounds. 800 wow. pounds in a bunk over the cab? That is fantastic. Right here, we do have a cargo net, and it does hook up. You just plug it in, plug it in. Uh, Insignia TV does swing out of the way and if you do want more headspace just flip that just like that now it's very easy to get in and out of the cab and notice this the dinette has a little gap right here Andre if you can see that oh so it just makes it so you're bit. not you're not sitting up as straight you know what I'm saying so um because that can definitely happen in these units there is a privacy curtain up there and then there's a USB and a little cubby back there and some storage above the door. Very nice. Right over here is where we turn our generator on. You can check your tanks and everything. Turn on your the heater pads for your uh, water heater. And then right over here is the dinette. Check this out. Big storage. Big storage. Oh. And it's like a gray. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Ouch. You okay, Andrea? Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. Oh, you pulled a muscle. Oh, yeah. no. Right here we do have, a, again, really nice storage. And then let's check out these balances. They're kind of like this. Andrea? Approved, bing! Oh, you're all better from your muscle. I'm, I'm hiding it very well. <laughs> oh man, you like pulled, it like pulled like a hamstring or whatever. Yeah, I was kneeling down and then I reached up too far to get that, because it's kind of tall right there. And if you haven't already. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other? Andrea's gonna pull a hamstring to open a cabinet exactly. for you. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Very nice. Did you approve the uh I did. Nice, nice. They're different too. I haven't seen those ones before. Oh, yep. And then this is the blind. I just pulled it off the thing. But these blinds do go all the not way up. Not our favorite. Right, not my favorite. Because look look how easy that was. Right. That I just jacked it all up. But it's up. an easy fix. It is an easy fix. That is that is the positive to it. Right here is a table and it does drop down to make a bed. We do have cup holders here, wireless phone charger there, 
And then if you guys want to learn more about the Chateau, make sure you scan that QR code on the screen. Very nice. And Andrea. There's show. some storage under this drawer right here. Oh, yeah. But not on the other side. Just on that side and... A car seat tether. Yes, ma'am. Very, very nice. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Wow. Hey, MSRP. Well, this better be a good MSRP. You're getting us worked up. It's not a good MSRP. Uh oh. But it's a good sale price. Nice. Yes. MSRP on this motor home here. $123,318. Andrea, that's MSRP. But we do have a really good sale price of 27% off to a sale price of $89,999. Wow. We will, we will rock you. You have too many Red Bulls. Yeah. And Andrea, <laughs> guess what? What's that? As great of a sale price as that is, I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better sale price than that. All you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. That will take you to a member of my team. They will reach back out to you, call you, figure out if you want the four Windsor Chateau or Quantum of this 22E floor plan. And you know what they'll get you? The best price in America. Yes, ma'am. Show us this kitchen. All right, look here. We've got a frosted cabinet with an adjustable shelf. Yes. Um, a square sink with an extension. And then if you don't have enough counter space, which you definitely need this, is the counter extension. This is for sponges. You've got three drawers. Okay, that one's bigger. And then this bottom one here. Very nice. And then above the, uh, contour microwave we have another place for storage yes and then we've got this contour microwave very nice a, oh a range hood hood range uh three burner furion propane cooktop okay with this glass cover here nice and then we've got an oven okay and another uh storage right here and then what is this this is a dometic two-way refrigerator yes Pro runs off propane and shore power why do i always have problems with i these? don't know very nice okay and then oh i see some storage under here yes hold on show us what we got we've got oh hey that's 174 dollar trash can wow that went up a lot well it is a 2024 and then over here matt we have a wardrobe Wow. There's that ladder for the bunk over the cab. Yes, ma'am. We've got a drawer. Very nice. And then over here, Andrea? You doing the corner? I'm doing bed? the corner bed. All right. I really like this corner bed. So first, we have a little nook right there. USB right there. And then here, we have some fantastic storage. Right above me, Andrea, we do have a Max Air fan, which is going to help circulate this area. And then here we have even more storage. What I do love about this area is that there is a privacy curtain. We do have windows all the way around. And Andrea. Yes. If you're in the market for a class C motorhome and you're looking at this, I think this is a horrible bed. Whereas if you're in the market for a class B motorhome, I think this is a fantastic bed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because like a Class C, this is like where they start. If you don't mind going a little bit bigger, you can get a lot better bed situation. Whereas a Class B, Bs don't come this big. And again, it's this much wider on both sides. Fantastic. This is per perfect for one person. Really good for two skinny people that love each other. Or really, it's good for one person and their dog. <laughs> yep. Very nice. And then, Andrea, let's check out this bathroom. All right. All right, coming on back here, we do have a very nice 24 by 36 shower. Shower miser water saving system. Guys, this will regenerate the water in your holding tanks so it won't waste it. So right when you turn it on, it's automatically hot water. You don't need to let it run through. You know what I'm saying? It's a really, really nice feature. Right here, we do have a nice mirror medicine cabinet, nice sink area and storage underneath right there and you guys already know you can get your liquefied 
RV toilet treatment at primepoopinposition.com. Now in the easy to drop tabs. Thank you everybody who's been buying some. We appreciate it. Pour some toilet, Andrea. Unfortunately, it's just a little small in here. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. But again, Andrea, when you compare this to a class B bathroom, it's fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things that we just love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things. Let's do three things we like about it. First? Yes. Okay, first things first. I like this corner bed setup. It is a pain in the butt for two people, but if you are solo, you do have a dog. This bed is absolutely fantastic. And again, when you compare it to a B van, the bed is fantastic. When you compare it to C's, it's not that good. That is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two for me is going to be, I like that this has no slides. Talk to me. I like that this is how it is at all times. There's no surprises. You know, this is what it is. It is what it is yep. at all times, just like what you said. I love that. That's number two. And then number three, Andre, I am going to say the Chevy chassis. It's unique. It's different. Everybody's built, building on the Ford. The, and you can get this on the Ford. But the fact that you have the option of getting it on the Ford or the Chevy is fantastic. And if you guys didn't notice, the passenger seat has a lot more leg room in the Chevy than the Ford. That's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Womp, womp, womp. May I go first? Sure. The blinds, Andrea. I done messed them up already. I don't like these blinds. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the way they function. Just give me the slow rise blinds. And I understand this motorhome is trying to maintain a certain price point, but there's only that window and those two windows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's not very many windows. I agree. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be that there isn't a designated pantry. Oh. And all you have is this wardrobe. I kind of wish that they just sectioned some of it off with some shelves. Right. Especially yeah. in a small motorhome exactly. like this. They, they, they really should have done something like that. Yes. That's number two. And then, Andrea, what's number three? Oh, dislike number three for me is going to be the step. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I know it's there. Yeah, you know it's there. I know it's there. I will continue to trip over it. Again and again and yes. again and again and again and again and again. Yes. <laughs> Andrea is very clumsy and she always falls over that. And you guys never see that because we always cut it out of the video. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review, short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you to everybody who joined us at the meet and greet here in Wixom, Michigan. It really is an honor to meet everybody. Um, and I just wish we could do these all the time and meet people around the country because we literally couldn't do this without each one of you guys That's watching. Sweet. So from the bottom of my little heart, my little, um, Grinch size heart, thank you guys <laughs> so much. If you guys are interested in buying this motorhome or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We'll link everything down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033 and a member of our team will get you guys the best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments. They do watch the video, so please leave your feedback. Thank you to everybody who stopped by to see us. We really enjoyed it. It was a pleasure meeting all of you. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.